At this point, we feel like a broken record having to bring up that Meghan Markle wants to destroy the British monarchy. For someone who claims to respect Her Majesty the Queen and the late Prince Philip, she's doing a pretty lousy job at proving it. The Duchess of Montecito just doesn't like to lose, well, anything. This is a woman who says one thing and does the total opposite. She has a history of putting pen to paper, both officially and unofficially, and going out of her way to control her own narrative. So, really, it's no surprise that Meghan Markle is beginning the new year with literary aspirations. According to insiders, the 40-year-old is planning her memoir, which would correct false stories and serve as a credible version of events, and she might even release it before Prince Harry drops his first book in late 2022, he signed a four-book deal in total. Either way, it means that we've got a busy year of Sussex-themed book club meetings ahead. Harry's book is being fine-tuned while he settles into U.S. life, says an insider close to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who haven't looked back since quitting the UK for LA- along with their two children, Archie, two, and seven-month-old Lilibet, and signing lucrative business and media deals along the way. The thinking is that Meghan could release her own memoir several months earlier, because she's a quick writer and will take a different tone to Harry. She's well aware of other biographies and documentaries being made about her and wants to control the narrative. It's a question of when, not if, and she won't be afraid to ruffle a few feathers in the royal family with it. Meghan's literary pursuits are nothing new. In June 2021, she released her first children's book The Bench, less than a year after she penned her emotional opinion piece, The Losses We Share, for the New York Times. She also used to run and write her own lifestyle website The Take, which she deactivated after meeting Harry. Then, of course, there are the unofficial book dealings. In November 2021, she admitted to knowing that her then-press secretary Jason Knauf had given information about her and Harry to the authors of the book Finding Freedom, an unauthorized biography about the pair, despite previously insisting they'd had no involvement in the book. Meghan also admitted to writing a very personal letter to her father with the understanding that it could end up being published. Last month, despite these bombshells, Meghan won her privacy battle against the Mail on Sunday, later saying in a statement, This is a victory not just for me, but for anyone who has ever felt scared to stand up for what's right. According to our source, she's been buoyed by this victory to keep putting her truth out there and claim authority, and authorship, of her own story. From Meghan's perspective, the plus side of fast-tracking the book is that it will serve as a definitive, credible version of events, we're told. She wants to defend herself and state the facts as she sees them. Besides, she has great confidence in her ability as a writer. She has a crisp and articulate style that is a publisher's dream. Meghan's currently weighing up the pros and cons with regards to the timing of the book, but Harry's all for it. As Heat has told you, both Harry and Meghan have been embracing the freedom they've had to speak out on TV shows and podcasts, in print, and in impassioned speeches, something they could not easily do as senior royals. In March last year, they accused Buckingham Palace of perpetuating falsehoods about them, and haven't kept quiet since when it comes to telling their side of the story. It's been reported that Harry's already pocketed a $20 million advance for his four-book deal, which will tell the story of his life not as the prince I was born, but as the man I have become. So, with money like that on the table, it's understandable that Meghan, or the duchess she's become, is following suit.